In this part of the tutorial, we're going to introduce a double if statement in iOS. This is going to be two if statements, one after the other, rather than the nested if statement that we saw before. So we're going to give two different outcomes rather than just the one and having to change the if statement each time. So up until now, we've only really looked at one if statement at a time or the nested if statements, which was a little different. and We've had to change the outcome each time. So this time we're going to test both conditions and give two different outcomes. So we're going to take a look at the bank account example and we're going to try and test to see if we have enough money to make a purchase. And if we do, we'll have one outcome. If we don't, we'll have another. Until this point, if we wanted to give two different outcomes, say for example with our bank account, if we don't have enough money to make the purchase, we had a message print out, and if we do, then we had to modify the if statement. This time we're going to use two if statements side by side to give two different possible outcomes. And once again, we're going to be using iOS rather than Android this time. Okay, so let's again go back to the example of a bank account. So a bank account has some integers, we'll use integers, we could use doubles, but Let's just keep things simple with integers. And we'll have a current balance. And we're going to assign this a value of 1,000. OK. And then we have a purchase. And let's say this is the, let's say this is 500. OK. So now we want to do a similar thing to what we did a couple tutorials ago in Android, is we want to test to see if our if we have enough money in our account to make this purchase. So let's test that now and we'll test it in the view did load. Okay. So we set up our if statement and the first thing we want to test or well, the only thing we really want to test is if current balance is greater than or equal to the purchase. Now, if we're testing current balance against purchase, there are three really possible outcomes, but we'll combine two of them. So a current balance can be more than the purchase, it can be less than the purchase, or it can be equal to the purchase. However, we're going to combine equals and greater than into the greater than or equals to that you see here, just because either way you have enough money to make the purchase, even if you only just have enough. So now we have two conditions that we're testing. So we have if the current balance is greater than the purchase, do something. And then if the, let's just set that up. And then if current balance is less than the purchase, then we'll do something else. Okay, so let's just have something simple happen. Maybe we can assign the label text something so this is not actually making the purchase, this is just testing to see if we have enough money. And this is perhaps something similar to what you would see in a, basically in an ACM machine or any kind of card machine that's, that you're trying to make a purchase with a card. Because it needs to test to see if there's enough money in your bank account. I guess it doesn't really apply to credit cards, but it does apply to debit cards because, again, you can't make a purchase if you don't have enough money in your account. So we'll need to test this. So let's write out what we want to happen. So if the current balance is greater than or equal to the purchase, let's just have the label text say something like, just give it, let's pass it a string, and we'll have it say, you can, you have enough money Okay, and then if the if we don't have enough money, so if our current balance is less than the purchase, we can have the text say something like, you do not have enough money. Yeah, just something simple like that. Okay, so whereas before we only had the one if statement and we'd have to change it each time, we don't want to be doing that because really once the app is running, we can't change the code. So if we give two if statements describing 
the two possible outcomes. So the outcomes are that the current balance is greater than the purchase, greater than or equal to the purchase, or the current balance is less than the purchase. We now have both cases covered. So we're good to go. And now we can run some kind of a test. Okay, so we know we have our current balance and we have our purchase. So let's go ahead and run it. We'll run our app and see what happens. Okay, so again we get this. I don't really want that up. I'm going to get rid of it. And our phone is just loading here. Our phone simulator. There we go. Our app is open. And here we have enough money to make the purchase. And that's right because our current balance is far greater than the purchase. However, if we only had, say, $200 in our account, so we'll stop that and we will rerun it. And which this time we're trying to make, again, a $500 purchase. So we clearly don't have enough money. So now this covers the second case. And we'll wait for it to load. Again, get rid of that. And we say it says we do not have enough money. Again, that's exactly right. Because we clearly have in our account much less money than we need to make the purchase. So the code when it comes to this double if statement will test both cases every single time. So even if our current balance is greater than or equal to the purchase and this code runs, so again because this condition is true the code in these braces will run, it will still test this condition. Okay, So because we have two ifs it's going to test every single if statement we have even if we had and not a lot of different possibilities and only the very first one was true. Same with if only the second one is true it's still going to test this one say okay no that's false print that out and then we're going to test that again. So in this particular instance it tests both. Next time we'll look at what will rather how we can set this up so that it only tests one of two conditions. In this part of our tutorial, we introduced a double if statement in iOS. So again, this was one if statement right after another. So we did this by testing to see if we had enough money in, in the account, again using a check balance example. And we printed the go ahead if we had enough money. And if we didn't, then we printed a warning. So this was two different conditions where our balance can be greater than or equal to the purchase or less than the purchase. And for each of these two conditions, we had a different outcome. So by now, you should be able to test multiple conditions. So be that one or two or many different conditions and have a different outcome for each one.